I think people are probably, when they get to the end of this, they're going to look back at what we've done and go, I did not see that coming. If any harm comes to her, I will kill you myself. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Hey, howdy ho. It's your boy Dylan, and today we are talking about Firebase Z. I am actually so excited for this map. So yesterday we got an inside Firebase Z trailer from Treyarch, where they basically go through the map explaining certain mechanics and new features and stuff like that. I kind of want to give my thoughts on everything as a whole. So from just the way the developers are acting right now, they're super proud of what they created here, and I can understand. The map looks absolutely massive. There's two sections, got the spawn area, which is the village, and then you go to the firebase by going through the portal, just like Moon, and the pack punches in the spawn as well. Honestly, it's looking to be absolutely fantastic. Like no cap, no joke. This is looking amazing. They're also introducing some things that are pretty interesting as well. We got new, you know, score streaks and stuff like that. The artillery and napalm strike, as you guys know from a while ago. They're also adding new rounds and stuff like that. So you got assault rounds where essentially, I'm not too sure how this works, but it really seems like the defense section of like Grog Krovi when you're going to Pack Punch and you're doing all those sort of lockdowns and stuff like that. That's what it kind of reminds me of. There's a bunch of anomalies that zombies come out of and you have to like defend like the base and stuff like that. It's kind of like a tower defense game in a sense. Like it reminds me of that. It looks like a lot of fun and especially with the Napalm Strike and the artillery like it kind of reminds me of the Dragon Strike from Grog Krovi with how it's like a green ring and stuff like that. It's looking great dude. Like I genuinely haven't been this excited for a zombies map in so long. Seriously, in so long. And the developers seem super proud of their work as well. So, man, it's just fantastic. And we got a look of the new zombie boss, the Mimic, where it can literally hide as a piece of scrap on the ground and it just transforms into its actual self. That's actually such a cool feature. And it can grapple you and bite you. This has to be one of the coolest looking bosses that we've seen in a while. We also have the return of the Mangler, of course. An absolute classic from Grog Krovi. This map draws a lot of inspiration from Grog Krovi, it seems like. It's a lot of returning features. At the end of the day, this map seems to be a good change of pace, especially from D Machine, because that map, as good as it may be, it's in my personal opinion, a little mediocre on the gameplay side with a map perspective, but the gameplay itself is fun. Black Ops Cold War has some of the best gameplay in zombies to date, in my personal opinion, and a lot of people's opinion. There's a great base here. We just need more maps, okay? That's, that's literally it. Firebase C is a great start to the season. I'm excited to see what they release in the future. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did and you want to see some more videos on the channel, make sure to drop a like. I'm going to be uploading my first impressions of Firebase Z tomorrow, or at least that's the goal to get the video out tomorrow. You know me. I tend to take a day or so to actually edit it and stuff like that because I suck. Anyway, I'm currently on the road to a thousand subscribers. So if you guys want to help out, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and never miss a video when I upload it. We are literally 300 away now. It's definitely on the horizon, possibly at the end of this year. Maybe. Who knows? We can get there at some point. And yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.